several people mentioned that Malibu Rising was going to be about children from a character in Daisy Jones and the Six. And while that is valid, it's not the whole truth. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be explaining the Mick River connection between the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Daisy Jones and the Six, and Malibu Rising. So before we start off, I just want to say that there is some potential spoiler alerts for uh, mild spoiler alerts for Daisy Jones and the Six, like basically just a throwaway, like one one specific scene. Uh, I would say a moderate spoiler for uh, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and a major, major spoiler warning for uh, Malibu Rising. Uh, but I will definitely let you know when we get into those so that you don't uh, leave too soon. So really quickly, Mick Riva is in all three books. Although he is barely there in Daisy Jones and the Six, he is there. So I am going to sort of tie it in really quickly without spoiling. And then I will get into the timeline and the spoilers. Um, I've also left several inches of space on this side so that I can pop up some pictures when necessary. So uh, basic, basic timeline without giving spoilers. So we have Mick Riva who is going to be somebody. Basically, I feel like it's okay to say he is a celebrity. Um, he is going to be a singer. So I want to do a sequential timeline, but I feel like that's where we're going to get spoilery. So I'm going to give a book by book breakdown in order when they were um, released. So Evelyn Hugo, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was released first. That is where he has a, I would say he's a side side character. He's not anything major at all. He's just one of many if you catch my drift. And then in Daisy Jones and the Six, he is a literal throwaway line. And then moving into Malibu Rising, you can almost see this as a um, origin story, maybe, uh, but the focus is definitely more on his children. So you're getting him in all three books, which personally I enjoy because it's comforting for me to know that all of these books take place in the same universe. Um, and I see these things as little tiny Easter eggs for us, the readers, to find. Uh, the first time, as far as from Evelyn Hugo to Daisy Jones, I didn't even pick up on it because he is so barely there in uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. Now, I will say that I did read all three. I did end up reading, rereading Daisy Jones and the Six in preparation for Malibu Rising, but what I should have done was reread Evelyn Hugo, and here's why. He has more screen time or page time in Evelyn Hugo than he does in Daisy Jones because as I said it's a literal throwaway line. Um, so obviously we have more information about him, more backstory, and he has more page time in Malibu Rising. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the uh, line and the sequence of events here. To reiterate really quickly, he is, like I said, in all three books. It is the same person. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the sequential timeline, which is where things get dicey as what is a spoiler and what isn't. So now that we are moving into the sequence of events rather than what books and when they were published, I'm going to go ahead and say and issue a heavy, heavy spoiler warning for Malibu Rising and, like I said, moderate for um, Evelyn Hugo and then just kind of like a little throwaway, little throwaway for uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm going to hop into this, uh, the timeline for Malibu Rising now. So in 1956, Mick meets June. Mick Riva meets June, the father of three of his children. Um, June gets pregnant with Nina, and Nina is Malibu Rising's main character. Uh, so in 1959, Jay, the second child, is born, and Hud, which is, you know, that's why I gave the spoiler warning, Hud is dropped off. Hudson is a child from a one-night stand. Love that for June. Uh, so in 1961, June and Mick divorce. Here is where we get the crossover between Mick and um, Malibu Rising and the Mick and Evelyn Hugo. So in 1961, according to page 101 of 
Malibu Rising. I will read this uh, little segment for you here. Uh, Mick married again shortly after he divorced Veronica, the biggest star in Hollywood. It was a huge scandal, the talk of the town when they had annulled it the next day. So if you read um, Evelyn Hugo, you know that he uh, was kind of coerced into marrying her um, as a ploy to sort of make her look more straight, I guess. Um, it's been a while since I read that book. Um, I digress. So we have uh, 1962. Mick uh, comes home and then he marries her again and then he leaves and never comes back. So sometimes between 1965 and uh, past that is when Mick Riva is seen in Daisy Jones and the Six making out with what appears to be two teenage girls. Here is another little bit of crossover for Evelyn Hugo and Malibu Rising. So Celia James, if you've read uh, Evelyn Hugo, spoiler alert if you haven't, uh, is sort of Evelyn Hugo's one true love. It's the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, the one that wasn't the husband that meant the most. Uh, so at one of Nina's parties, if you Remember, Nina has these parties every year. Um, Doug Tucker, so he basically said that he had evidence that Celia James, Celia St. James was not straight. So that is all that I came up with. Now, of course, I will pop up some little bits of Evelyn Hugo here. So as you can see, this is all taken directly from the book. I went on to Scribd app and I typed in Mick and got all of the spots where his name was mentioned and I included it over here. Um, so not much happened in that book other than she basically got him to marry her and then they annulled it the next day. Um, obviously we get more of uh, Mick Riva in Malibu Rising, but he is in all three. It is the same character. Um, that is all I have for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up if you found it helpful in any way. Um, I did do tons of research. I tried to reread as much as I could of uh, Evelyn Hugo, those scenes where Mick was mentioned. I also reread Daisy Jones and the Six in preparation for Malibu Rising, unnecessary. And um, I did reread passages of Malibu Rising to make sure my information was accurate and I jotted down the timeline. So if you found this helpful, if this explained anything, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me or would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I'd be so happy to have you. All right, I hope that you are being safe. Wash your hands, taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.